Hello friends, today we're going to see about muscle relaxants and their classification. From this video, you'll know. What are muscle relaxants? Classification. Before going to the video. If you're new to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get regular notifications. Also, follow me on Instagram. Now we'll get on to the video. Anesthesia is a state of controlled, temporary loss of sensation or awareness, which is induced for medical purposes. For that, there are some basic components of anesthesia. The components are narcosis, analgesia, muscle relaxation, abolition of reflexes, maintenance of normal hemodynamics and physiologic hemostasis, amnesia. Among them, today we're going to see about muscle relaxants. Muscle relaxants. A muscle relaxant is a drug that affects skeletal muscle function and decreases muscle tone. Muscle relaxants are classified into depolarizing and non-depolarizing. Depolarization occurs when ion channels in the membrane open or close, altering the ability of particular types of ions to enter or exit the cell. The opening of channels that let positive ions flow into the cell can cause depolarization. Example, Opening of channels that let sodium ions into the cell. Depolarizing muscle relaxant. The most well-known depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agent is succinylcholine. Depolarizing muscle relaxants act as acetylcholine ac, receptor agonists. It is the only such drug used clinically and is considered as a drug of choice for rapid sequence intubation. Non. Depolarizing muscle relaxants. Non-depolarizing muscle relaxants act as competitive antagonists. They bind to the acetylcholine receptors but are unable to induce ion channel openings. They prevent acetylcholine from binding and thus end plate potentials do not develop. According to the chemical structure, non- Depolarizing muscle relaxants are further classified into aminosteroid benzylzequinoline. According to the duration, it is classified into long acting. Intermediate acting. and short acting. In the aminosteroid group, there is no histamine release, no hypotension, no tachycardia, so, it is a cardiovascular stable agent. Benzylzequinoline group. Here, there will be histamine release, which can cause vasodilation and bronchospasm. Vasodilation further causes hypotension and tachycardia. So, it's cardiovascular system unstable. Okay, friends, that's all about today. I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.